money's on riding. My money is on riding. That's where it's at. The speed. I think, I think that might win out. We shall see. Let's get it. seen them jump in a fight like that. <laughs> there are some fights I've missed, so but that's my first time. Ooh. Oh. Damn, he's moving. <laughs> It's over. You're not done yet. I'm searching your uh -oh. workplace power system. Okay. Mm. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Excellent work, Tenno. Now for the foundry. Eventually gave Excalibur the win. I guess so. Both were super skilled swordsmen and ninja, and their speeds were almost even. So the fight was ultimately gonna come down to whose tech was better. And gotta say, it looks like Excalibur just had a lot more to pull from. Warframes have access to an absolutely absurd amount of varied weapons. Okay. Despite Raiden's unique armaments, they were never going to stack up in sheer quantity. And consider specific guns like Galaxian, which can halt molecular movement, a direct counter to Raiden's high-frequency blade. While Excalibur may not always be carrying it, every Warframe is proficient with each of their over 500 weapons. One blast of that, and Raiden might as well be working with a regular slab of steel. Excalibur was way stronger, too. Sure, Raiden could cut through giant Metal Gear rays made of carbon nanotubes, generating up to 100 kilotons of TNT. But not as much as Excalibur. Another Warframe, Atlas, was strong enough to smash apart a giant asteroid. 
meaning it would have to be at least six kilometers across, just like the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. Now, Atlas did not completely halt its kinetic energy. By exploiting fissures within the asteroid, he was able to pulverize it to dust. That means his punch had to hit with an energy of at least 46 gigatons of TNT. Sure, in canon, Atlas is stronger than Excalibur, but they fought and defeated similar enemies, so Excalibur would naturally have to be somewhere in Atlas's ballpark. Even if Excalibur only possessed 1% of Atlas's strength, he'd still be nearly 4,000 times stronger than Raiden. That's pretty consistent well, with the energy output of Nova's right anti-matter right? blast, too. Warframes are just that tough. Furthermore, even with the high-frequency blade's unique vibrating ability, it cannot cut through everything. Raiden's original blade actually shattered against Armstrong's super hard skin, and required the stronger Murasama to finish the job. Against a foe vastly more durable than anyone Raiden's ever faced, it's unlikely the Murasama would score a kill in time. Even if Raiden got enough hits in to break Excalibur's shields and eventually land a fatal blow, the Tenno operator piloting would still survive unharmed. Raiden put up a valiant effort, but Excalibur's absurd arsenal, impressive durability, and raw power put an end to the silver-haired swordsman. Excalibur had the metal and the gear to make Jack R.I.P. The winner is Excalibur. Well, there we go. I told you so. That's all right. <laughs> thanks for watching, and thanks to Warframe Let's for sponsoring this battle. Next. Quick disclaimer, Digital Extremes and the Warframe team did not dictate the victor of this episode, nor even the matchup. They were fine with it going either way, and we wouldn't there. have accepted the sponsorship <laughs> otherwise. So we're really thankful to them for understanding this show. Remember, you can get a free collection of Excalibur-themed goodies from Warframe.com, or the in-game marketplace with the promo code WF-DEATH-BATTLE. Don't miss out on TennoCon July 16th. I'm Jocelyn, and I've been promoted. I'm about to do all the research nobody else wants to, straight from the desk of Death Battle! Alright. Oh, I thought they were going to tell us who was next. Alright. That was badass. That was one of my favorite fights that I've seen them do. Period, point blank. That was really good. I really liked that one. Guess I was off. Even if by a little. Oh well. That's what it is. Post comments down below. Let me know what y'all thought. If you enjoyed my reaction, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Who did you have winning? Let me know. 10 million subscribers. Woo!